Hey everybody, it's April here. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys, some of you guys were wanting to know um, kind of where we do our homeschooling and um, an update since the beginning of the year when I talked about how we were starting Home Dakota, a Heart of Dakota. So um, I just want to share with you, this is our little book corner. Usually we have their little reading chairs right here, but it's Christmas time right now. So um, we have the Christmas tree there. Um, we are opening up a book every day leading up to Christmas, which is super fun. And we have a lot of their fun and interactive reading books here. And then, if you follow me, oh, it's going to get dizzy. I'll try to go slower. All right, so this is our school room, our dining room. We know at first we set it up in the toy room, and we had a desk and everything for him and a chalkboard wall. But we do 95% of our schooling here, and the other five is probably on the couch. Um, we love just spending time together Um as a family at the table so we have this little area that he can sit and read books and in here are more of our nonfiction and books that he might want to read for school whether it's lip the flap or encyclopedias or you know um different things like that art books white clean books history books science books that kind of a thing and then we have this little corner over here we just use this more for organization. He doesn't actually like come and take off the sticky things each day, which he could. And I might have him do that next year. Um, but for this year, he just turned five in June and you know, it's, it's working good for us just using these for organization. And so we keep everything in there and our handy dandy globe in our map and suitcase for little passports. We've been doing that recently. It's super fun learning about the world and learning about music around the world and continents and landmarks and different stuff like that. And then our Bible verses up here. Every time that we learn a new verse, we add it to the train. So it's going to be cool by the end of the year how long the train will be. And in here, I store a lot of miscellaneous like games that are educational, stuff like that. And then down here, it's probably a mess. Yeah, it's my toddler drawer <laughs> for my little toddler to have stuff to play with. Okay, so I want to give you guys an update. We are doing Heart of Dakota for this year. And it's for the five through seven year old range. And since my little guy just turned five in June, we're actually just doing three days of this a week so that we don't get too far ahead in it. Um, and it's been working out great because then the other day we go to a co-op and then every other Friday he goes to our local Christian school for um, classes with the other homeschoolers, which is really fun. Um, so depending on the day, you're going to have science or art or dramatic play or thinking skills in this box. Um, there's always Bible verse memorization, um, rhymes in motion where it gets them up and moving. They super duper love it. Reading about history. History here right now, we're still doing Bible. I think towards the end of the year, we're going to start with early America history. Um, there's music every day. Um, I kind of play my own music, though. Um, math, you get to pick your own math. We're doing um, Singapore math, and math is his favorite subject. He is actually way ahead in it. We're almost done with this first book, and um, so we're super excited to move on and um, go to the next book. Even with only doing um, this stuff three days a week instead, he's still really head with the math. He just loves it. Um, sometimes for math, we also do, if we want to change it up just for fun, we have this wipe clean book that we do. And um, so that's really fun. We have fine, fine motor skills and like thinking skills. We um, have been doing a variety of things. We either do this one which we just started recently and it's really fun so like it has them reading it has them writing and it has them drawing and so it's very creative it's very awesome and so each day he gets to draw a little bit and he's reading the words he's writing them out so it's practicing spelling and then his drawing skills so i really really recommend this book i think it's great so he's had a lot of fun with it Okay, so then we also have Do It Carefully. This is part of uh, Heart of Dakota recommended. And so it's just different things that they have them doing every day for motor skills. Then I have this one that I had left over just from last year. So we do it every so often. And it's just different thinking skill pages. And um, he loves it. We have a lot of fun with it. Okay, so let's see what else. Oh, okay, so phonics. Um we have been doing um, 
all about reading. Sorry, I just like totally went blank there for a second. Um, and we, oh, I can't say enough about this program. I know some people are a little nervous to try it because of the price. I can't tell you how much it's worth it. It is worth it. I heard the most amazing things about it from people. And so that's why I did it. And now that I've done it, I understand it. That This is my manual. It's so easy. Like we're right here in week 22 right now. And it tells me <clears throat> exactly what we're going to learn this week. Um, exactly what we need to go over. Then we have these tiles, which you can see the tile board right there. There's our tile board. <laughs> it's not put together right now. <clears throat> and um, then we have different worksheets and things they'll have you cut out in the student book. And um, there's new cards each week that he learns and review cards. So review cards, instead of just being, just, you know, picking these cards up and reviewing them, which would be so boring, you know, um, they actually give us so many different ways to review them. So for instance, um, one of the ways is this really fun game that he loves. I have a whole bunch of these games. I bought their, their game book or whatever. And you lay these um, flashlights all over the page and... This is Ziggy's backpack and Ziggy the Zebra, and we have him somewhere else. And so every time he reads a word and, and um, reads it correctly, sounds it out correctly, he gets to pick it up, see if it's a bat or if it's an item for the, suit, uh, the backpack that he can put in. And it makes him so excited to read these words. Sometimes I'll turn on music, let him dance, <clears throat> and when I pause the music, he has to pick a word and read it. So he's been doing really great. I forgot his first reader. We just went through um, and finished his first reader. They look like this, and there's three that come with them. So he's about to start the second reader, which um, this is the third one. So it's the second one is the other one in there. One thing we didn't um, end up doing is Ready the Fox um, and Peter Rabbit Tales for read aloud story time every day. Because for him, just being a young five-year-old, um, it was just too hard for him to sit through this. And honestly, um, with my job, because I work for Usborne Books, um, we have so many books and we read so much every day that he sits through a long time of reading. So I just knew that this just wasn't for him. Uh, maybe the way it was written, since it's 100 years old, I don't know. But I figured I'll wait till next year and try it again. So we've been um, reading our own um, books that are still above his level, um, but where he loves it. He loves the Hey Jack series. So we've been reading the Hey Jack chapter books. Um, this is the student um, workbook. It gives different sheets and different things you can cut out and color and paste and do activities every day to help them learn um, all there is to learn about reading. Okay, so science. Um, we use this a lot. Um, it's the children's encyclopedia. We've used it when we were learning about Egyptians. Yesterday we learned it about seasons. It has everything you can think about in here. And so really any subject we're learning, I can open this up and it gives really nice little chunks of information with a lot of um, illustrations and it doesn't go into too much detail. It's just perfect for the elementary age. Um, and then we also have this that came with Heart of Dakota. And so we use this every so often. Um, it talks about the six days of creation and all the different things. And so they're going to be learning about animals and plants. And so like when we were learning about Moses um, in the bush, you know, um, on fire, he would learn about bushes. <laughs> and so they kind of, they put everything together like that, which is really, really cool. And so if you're learning about one thing, you might learn about it in the other subject. And so I really love that. Art, um, they have art every so often in the book, but I also do my own thing. We've been doing some projects from um, my very first art book. And I remember when fall came, we got leaves and we painted them and made creations. And then um, this um, we just started doing recently, and it's really helped him because he, the other day, was trying to figure out how to draw a dog and open it up, and it was the first page was a dog. So that's really nice. So when they're saying, hey, Mom, I don't know how to draw that, you know, you can say, okay, here, look, this uh, gives you step by step. And so we've been doing that. And... Yeah, I'm probably missing something. Oh, yeah, here is the history book that they have with Heart of Dakota. We used it a lot in the beginning, and we haven't used it as much lately, but it comes and goes um, with using it. And then sometimes we use just our devotions or our Bible, which Bible we're using, the Jesus um, Storybook Bible and the Jesus Calling Book Bible, or, yeah, Jesus Calling Bible. Uh, this and this and... This is our devotion book. So there you have it. Everything's going really well. I, I would say the only thing we're really not using is the Peter Rabbit story tale. And um, everything else we're still pretty much using and loving. So there you go.